Happy Mercedesing. As you have seen it from the title, I'll be answering one question. If any of my videos helped you repair your car, then please hit the button super thanks. But before I get to the point, I would like just to inform you that now another membership level is uh, active. It's called a donor. On this level, you will be able to watch the service manuals and everything is going to be for five bucks. All the perks you will have from uh, the lower level, which is called a supporter. And just tell me when you watch the video, if the video is uh, not under any ads, then I will also include the option for you to watch all my videos without any ads. There, for, for five bucks. Just tell me and then I will start uploading some of my most important videos so you can watch them without any ads. Just tell me. Now I'm asking all of you supporters, all 15 of you. And at the same time, I would like to thank myself uh, to my members there, my dear, please give them one huge kiss. And now, Mans Dahlberg asks me this. So, as you see, what has to happen as you start the car, the sensor plate has to deflect, has to go downwards. Once it does, it moves the plunger, the central piston in the fuel distributor and once air and uh, fuel are sucked into the cylinders, there the magic happens then. Otherwise, this what uh, you ask me indicates that someone has been messing up with the mixture screw and the mixture screw has been turned counterclockwise. The more you turn the mixture screw counterclockwise, the more this thing, this lever, goes downwards. As it does, as the sensor plates start falling like this, it's unable to press the central piston in the fuel distributor called plunger and as the plunger is in its zero position and it cannot deli deliver any fuel, this thing cannot uh, deflect the plunger so no fuel is able to be delivered to the cylinders. And that's the cause. If something like this happens to you, to, to all of you too, then start moving 
start turning. The mesh screw clockwise until the car starts. <laughs> the question was also for how much. Well, for the beginning, for those two meals approximately. For this much, let's say it like that. And afterwards, as the car warms up, then set the mixture on X11 port, set the voltage on it to be fluctuating between 6.6 .6 and 7.3 volts. And then you will have the perfect mixture adjustment. And now let's see how it looks like in praxis. This is an M102 fuel distributor. Watch the magic happening now. And this is how it looks like when you split the two chambers. So, you have the upper one, the lower one, and the barrel, which is inside. These are the key components. And the most important one, the plunger. This piston, which rests here in the center, like this, is called the plunger. This thing determines the quantity of fuel which is being delivered towards the cylinders. So why is our plunger so important? Here, let me show you. If you see this slit here, I will try to show you. Look now. If you pay attention, the more the plunger goes in, the more it closes these slits here. So once the core is off, this plunger is in its uh, zero position and no fuel can flow from the, the lower chamber to the upper one. And as you start the car and the plunger is being deflected, it moves this. It goes up and it opens this passage more or less. Here. Now it's zero. And now I will show you the more it opens. Here, you see? The more fuel flows. And the thing that moves the plunger is the sensor plate. So as the sensor plate moves downwards, then this piston goes up. And by turning the mixture screw counterclockwise, then you make the gap here less. So the more you turn this screw counterclockwise, the more this plate falls like this. And then 
I've been speaking about uh, that. I'm not going to be talking about that uh, again. How the the plate uh, functions and how it looks like from the inside. Here, there is one lever here. The more this lever goes in and the more it goes in, it practically cannot touch this thing here. Let me show you. Do you see this? This thing. Well, the more you turn the mixture screw counterclockwise, it goes down. So, the more it goes down, the less contact it makes with the plunger. And therefore, at once, it cannot even uh, touch it uh, at all. If it doesn't, then no fuel can be delivered towards the cylinders. So, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Then, I would kindly ask you not to hit the button uh, skip add. That is going to help me a lot. And, till some next one, Happy Mercedes-ing. Bye.